it's so great right. to meet you and to talk to you because you know Chesley was so proud of you and all of her siblings and it was fun that she would when she would share different stories about you guys and so I want to know how did she inspire you to chase your dreams wow yeah Chesley was an inspiration and and thank you for that Chesley inspired me, my family, and so many people in so many different ways. Me specifically, I, as a kid, growing up with my sister who's a bookworm, and I'm the guy who's always just moving, active, doing things, kicking a soccer ball against the wall to annoy everybody. I got lizards on my head. <laughs> we were not the same. And as we grew up, we started to bond, especially when in high school, I ran track. Mm. and she ran track in college. She was able to come back and coach me and give me all the tips. We talked about psyche and, and getting into our minds of things. And I think as our bond got closer, she also taught me a lot about just being dedicated about what I truly believed in, not in what people expected me to believe in or to do or to be like but being genuine to myself. Did she give you any advice when she found out that you were going to be a part of the show? Oh, you know, Chelsea was my hype man. She was, every time I saw her, every time we talked about it, she was always hyping me up, always just be yourself. And that was pretty much it. That was, that was the biggest takeaway. That was the biggest thing she always just harped on was just be yourself. Don't worry about being somebody for somebody. Don't impress anybody. Don't be somebody so that somebody likes you. Just be yourself. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Congratulations on the courtship. Now, I can ask you this because I come from reality TV. What made you want to be a part of reality TV? What made you want to be a part of this show? I, it was a spontaneous thing. I just wanted to, um, I wanted to just be able to have the kind of um, spontaneity in my life to just be able to just try something new. I had just gotten out of college. Um, I was playing football there. And um, at that time, COVID hit. Um, I had talked with some of the producers and they um, they were interested. And I was like, why not? So I just, I just went for it. The courtship is being described as The Bachelor meets Bridgerton. But you were on it. How would you describe the show? I think that's a great definition. I'd probably piggyback just to be able to say, um, dating in the regency era oh slowing things down being present at the same time you're competing against 16 other suitors you've only got a limited amount of time um time truly is of the essence mm -hmm. and in today's world like you get to experience somebody's social media you get to experience how they express themselves um all of that but not in the regency era did you tap into your inner reggae jean did you did you tap into him? I might have. You kind of fa you kind of favor a little bit. Everybody <laughs> says that. Everybody says we look a little bit alike. I actually made a TikTok about it. Matter of fact, <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. You're a part of a love show. How would you describe your dream partner? Your ideal partner? No, I would probably describe my ideal partner, my dream partner, as somebody who's free, mm -hmm. um, free spirited, creative. Yeah independent but also very in touch with their loving side and their caring side very aware of their emotions but can also just have a good time thank you for watching if you want more extra hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video